Hello beautiful Cancers. I'm LaTrans Ebby with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your mid-March 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can book a reading with me through my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me right now directly through the description box below. If you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, including details such as when you'll meet your partner, where you meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, and more, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your partner in your ideal relationship, Go ahead and book a future partner reading with me right now through the description box below or again at my website powerlifehypnosis.com. This is a general reading of course so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do not, please check your moon or rising sign videos as those messages may. You can also check your sun, moon, and rising sign videos for a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the ending portion of March 2019. You can also cross watch the reading for your romantic interest as well. And Cancers, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app. The links to my Instant Go, to my website, and a book of reading with me now are all in the description box below, so you can go ahead and check those links out. So my lovely, lovely Cancers, fellow Cancers, let's go ahead and get started on our reading. I hope that all is well with you at this time. I hope that you've been having a lovely March thus far. Alrighty, my dear. So, of course, I have here the theme of what we're going to experience during the ending portion of March 2019 from the 15th through the 31st. I also have here our two predictions, our fortune, as well as our guidance. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm excited for our reading, it looks like. We got some interesting stuff coming up here, as I'm a Cancer as well, so let's get into this alrighty so cancers for the overall theme of what we're going to experience during the ending portion of March first off I have the card of playfulness to recapture romance cancers allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so I must say that I did do the Leo reading before this one and the Leo reading got the card of playfulness as well. So if you have a sun, moon or rising sign in Leo, then I do recommend checking out that reading as well. Nevertheless, we do have this card here of playfulness. Speaking of us, Cancers, during the ending portion of March, allowing our inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, allowing ourselves to be lighthearted, to be easygoing, to be fun, to be free, to be playful regarding our romantic relationships. So to me, this card speaks of having an energy that is, again, lighthearted, not, <clears throat> excuse me, taking love and romance and relationships in a heavy manner to just be playful just be light just to allow things to unfold and in turn or simultaneously allowing our youthful spirit of fun to shine so let's be easy going when it comes to love and romance during the ending portion of march and we also have here the lovely card of engagement so it appears as though cancers your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I always love to see this card. This card represents our love lives coming to a deeper sense of commitment, a deeper sense of camaraderie, coming together, making our relationship stronger, okay? Deepening of love, deepening of romance, deepening of connections so we have a very positive energy coming on during the month of march or the ending portion of march when it comes to our love lives so that is very excellent so for many of us we may be going into a deeper 
level of commitment or a deeper level of romance with our significant other or with our romantic interests. So some of us may be becoming engaged. Some of us may be deepening our commitment. Some of us may be going into a deeper commitment. Okay. Which is yes. Possible for many of us. Let's go ahead and go into these predictions so we can talk about that more, okay? All right. So, Cancers. First off, I have here the cards of the child. Me. <laughs> With the child. As well as the letter. And the stars. So, we have the child, the letter, and the stars. So if you would like to know more about who we're speaking of, the physical description of who this person is, go ahead and check out the monthly reading as the monthly readings will go into the physical description and who we could be speaking of, okay? All right, so <clears throat> regarding mid-march cancers what we can be experiencing here the first thing that i'm noticing is that we have here the jack of spades the seven of spades the six of hearts this is signifying to me that this is a positive reading okay this is a good reading this is a positive reading there's positive energy here i'm picking up no challenges this is all good all right everything's all good within this reading now it appears as though there's going to be some kind of written message text message email love letter written communication carrier pigeon some kind of written message here that's going to be of significance. Now, if this is not a love letter, written message regarding the relationship, for some of you, this can be some kind of document, some kind of positive, well, positive because of the aspects that we have here, but this can be some kind of written document okay that is going to be of relevance within your love lives during the ending portion of march from march 15th to the 31st now it appears as though this written document this written message this written word whatever this is with the letter card here this written word is going to bring about your wishes, your dreams, your aspirations are going to be answered, are going to be provided, are going to be given to you, are going to be seen, are going to manifest during the ending portion of March. Okay, so that's excellent. So we have here some kind of positive message, some kind of dream, aspiration, something is going to come, making our dreams come true, making us feel lucky, okay? Making us feel as though we wished upon a star and that what it is that we sought or what it is that we're seeking is manifesting during the ending portion of March. So it appears as though there may be a new beginning that transpires through written message and that's going to manifest our dreams, wishes, desires, aspirations. Or there's going to be a new relationship for many of you that starts during the ending portion of March. And for many of you, this may be a relationship that is mainly taking place through written word, written message, written communication. Nevertheless, this will be the relationship, the 
romance of your dreams, the romance that you aspire for, okay? So this written word, this written message is going to be something that is very, I'm feeling uplifted, okay? Right now I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling uplifted. So I'm feeling as though this is the energy that's going to come through this relationship, whether it be a new relationship, we have the child. So the child could signify a new relationship. The child could signify a new romance. The child could signify a fresh start, a new beginning, new energy coming into an existing relationship. So whether this is an old, new, transitioning, whatever, the stage of this romantic connection, there will be fresh energy here, new energy here that's going to come about. And again, through written word, through written message, through written communication, through carrier pigeon, email, text message, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, social media, uh, writing written messages, you know, somebody just sending snail mail is... If we still send, send love letters, maybe some of us do. We should. That's really romantic, right? Sending love messages. I'm going to send a love message. Okay, so sending whatever this love message is, it's going to make us feel as though our aspirations, dreams, wishes, desires, hopes, okay, are being fulfilled. So that's a very excellent energy that we have. That's a very excellent energy that we have coming through. Very positive, okay? So look out for those dreams. Look out for those wishes, aspirations to transpire through written words, written words, written messages, Bring about a new beginning, a new relationship, newness, fresh energy, a fresh start, baby steps in a relationship even, okay? I like that. I like that a lot. Some of you could be recapturing romance through written messages. Some of you could be recapturing romance through your written word again allowing your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so for many of you that could be taking place through written words written message written communication email snapchat uh, text messages, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, social media, written words, snail mail, whatever this is, okay? Many of you could be allowing your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And this may be bringing about manifestation, okay, of your dreams, aspirations, desires, wants, needs, hopes, wishes, what you're seeking for in your love and romantic relationships. So that is an excellent energy that we have here, okay? Moving forward. Ooh, and this could be allowing our love lives to take on a new level, take on a higher level. So that's excellent as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our second prediction here. We have unexpected money. Unexpected money. Military person. And rich girl. So I can automatically see that this is going to be a very positive occurrence here. And I do have a second card or a fourth card, but I'll give us all this card here in a second. So we do have a positive energy here because 
we have a situation during the any portion of March where something of course that we're not expecting something that we're not you know thinking we're not thinking that this is gonna happen but it's gonna happen nonetheless there's an event that's going to happen that will bring about happiness joy positive energy in all areas in this situation okay and I'm picking up that this positivity, this joy, this happiness, this success is going to continue on into the future as we move on going into the month of April, then May, then June, okay? Because we have this rich girl card and this rich girl card is a very positive card and she's looking into the future. So what's going on is that... Okay, some of us may be dealing with somebody who wears a uniform for their trade. Okay, some of us, not all of us, but many of us may be dealing with somebody who's wearing the, a uniform for their trade. So this can be somebody who works for law enforcement or who works for the government um such as well not everybody works for the government but maybe somebody works as a firefighter or, or a law enforcement or even a, a lawyer can wear a suit for their trade or somebody wears a subway wears a subway shirt with a logo on it so it's somebody here who wears a shirt or not wears a shirt but wears a tire wears a suit a tire for their trade um, a lawyer wears a suit okay a scientist wears a lab coat but there's gonna be something unexpected with this individual here that's going to bring about a lot of happiness like a lot of happiness a lot of success pleasure joy okay and all these positive things are going to transpire with little to no effort on your behalf which is the great thing that is the energy of this rich girl so this is a good luck card this is happiness joy prosperity luck okay positive occurrences in all areas of life in this sense and particular romance again with little to no effort on your behalf this is just the energy that's going to transpire because you are deserving of that at this time because this is your destiny at this time to have love joy happiness prosperity abundance romance coming into your life so there's going to be something unexpected you're not going to be expecting it of course that's why it's unexpected right so there's going to be something that is unexpected that is going to come during the ending portion of march and it's going to be amazing all right cancer so just no just no just be open be ready to receive be ready open willing ready to receive the blessings that are coming to us because we absolutely have blessings that are in our energy that are coming to us during the ending portion of march so let's just be open to it let's be ready willing able because that positive event is success and love so we have the success and love card that also came up as well okay so know that you have success and love positive events coming together love camaraderie companionship feeling close with one another all those beautiful energies are yours to experience okay so that may be the thing that is unexpected but again we do have this energy of our wishes our dreams our ho our, our hopes our desires aspirations coming to us and this is a love reading 
So wishes, dreams, hopes, aspirations, all those wonderful things concerning love and romance. And because we have the rich girl here, which can be for some of us, speaking of ourselves, so we can be this rich girl or our partner can be this rich girl or this rich girl can be an energy. But this is speaking of someone who is bringing about high, positive, loving, joyful, lucky, okay, luxurious energy regarding love and romance during the ending portion of March. So we have a lot of wonderful energy coming to us, okay? Love it. Cancers. Seduction for our fortune. Passion and romance await. So there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of romance. There is love. There is happiness going on during the ending portion of March. So this is a positive energy to look into. Nevertheless, we do have this double card. So these are the cards for a fortune. So this is something that we must be mindful of, okay? Take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit, whatever this means for you. Whatever this means for you in particular. Take care immediately to avoid temptation and receipt and receipt and deceive rather take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit okay cancer so this could be speaking of your own actions this can be speaking of um if you're having doubts um regarding your significant other however this resonates with you with you individually and particularly okay there is passion of romance awaiting nevertheless we must just be mindful Okay, and take care regarding temptation and deceit, whatever that means, whether this means deceit outside of the relationship for some of you, deceit regarding your romantic interest for some of you, deceit, whatever this is, okay? This is going to be, again, unique for all of us because this is a general reading. So whatever this means for you, okay? Let's go ahead and go into our guidance. And I did ask my guides, our guides over the Cancer Collective, which of my mini decks should I use to provide us all with the best guidance? And I did get the mixture of decks again. And I just saw 2244 on the clock. So for some of us, we may be experiencing a lot of angelic healing during the ending portion of March. And it's interesting because I also got that message coming up as well for the Leo reading. So if you all, again, have a sun, moon, rising energy, you're dealing with someone who is a Leo, it may be useful to go ahead and check out that reading as well. So let's go ahead and get back into our messages. Let's go ahead and get into our guidance here. And I really actually like the guidance that we have for us here because... First off, this is a card on the bottom, the overall energy, speaking of our love lives. So yes, this is speaking of our love lives or our love and romantic situations here. And Cancers, the basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So just as we spoke about before, our love lives are changing for the better. There's a positive, uplifting useful, loving, romantic, excellent energy coming into our love lives at this time, okay? So many of you may be feeling it. And this may be why you're feeling this engagement, right? Our love lives are ascending to a higher level of commitment during the ending portion of March, okay? Now, excuse me, I dropped a card. All right. Okay, okay, so... Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Be yourself, Cancers. During the ending portion of March, be your lovely, romantic, wonderful, beautiful, um, intuitive, sensitive, emotional, 
yet strong and powerful, intuitive, awesome, romantic, loving cancer selves. Be yourself. The situation calls for you, Cancer, to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your power. During the ending portion of March, being your authentic self will be the basis for your power, the basis for your success. Excuse me, everyone. Okay. Now, I'm seeing a lot here going on regarding our timing because <clears throat> first off, I have the card of steady progress. So perhaps some of us have been working on a romantic goal for some time. This can resonate with us all in different ways. Nevertheless, steady progress. The angels are saying to us cancers that we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, through your feelings, and through your actions of love. Right? So you are making steady progress when it comes to your love life. And when it comes to our romantic relationships and our love lives, and if we're transitioning, changing, transcending, ascending, things don't happen overnight. You know, things take time. Energy takes time to shift, especially right now. There's a large energy shift going on, you know, and these full moons and these new moons that have been happening since last month, this month, they're very powerful. So. These are things that happen in cycle. They happen in time. They happen through divine timing. All right. Divine timing is absolutely necessary when it comes to aligning ourselves with our divine partner, with our divine relationships, with all the things that are to bring us joy and happiness and our dreams and aspirations. So know that you are making steady progress towards your goals, towards your happiness, towards what it is that you desire and then guess what perfect timing both of these cards came out perfect timing cancers okay so timing is definitely going to be something that is essential imperative all right for us to consider during the ending portion of March, our timing is very, very important. Perfect timing. Now is the time, now is the perfect time, the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations, Cancers. Act on your inspirations, act on your dreams, act on your wishes on what you want so that you may attain it and achieve it and have it and enjoy it the doors are open while you walk through them with us god spirit universe your higher power your angels your spiritual support team by your side so you have guidance by your side you have support by your side okay you are not going through this alone have no fear even if you are experiencing fears know that you have higher spiritual support at your side who want the best for you don't delay cancers don't procrastinate cancers as all of the ingredients are right now right here right now ripe they are ripe ready willing and able for your success Everything and everyone is on your side, Cancers, supporting your positive outcome. And the time is right for you to move forward, all right? So you got this. Now is the time. Keep moving forward. If you want love right here, right now, go get it. Go get it, all right? Now is your time. Enjoy, all right? And you have all the energy in the world, not in, not in the world, in the universe, all right? In the higher realms, in the realms that we can't even perceive and see. 
backing us up so you got this cancer love is yours right here or right now be yourself be your loving amazing self know how wonderful you are you've been making steady progress but your love life is ascending to a higher level right here and right now everything is getting better you're going into a deeper level of commitment just be used not useful just be light-hearted just be easy going all right and that will be useful helpful hopeful to you because now is the time okay but let things evolve let things transpire in divine timing and that will be essential for you all right dearest cancers on earth human learn humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences eventually after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So, to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask. Why do you tell your story? Okay, why do you tell that relationship story? Why do you have those beliefs? Why? Ask yourself, why do you tell it? And ask yourself, is it really true? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap? and intertwine spirit love stories four they're like blueprints to co-creation spirit love stories for they're like blueprints to co-creation so tell the story we know spirit god universe your higher power your angels your spiritual support team Tell the story that they all know to be true about you. A story of courage, gratitude. I'm going to go in here and say healing. Okay, courage and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well being, wisdom and grace you will experience your world according to the story that you tell about it cancers so make sure they are stories that you are proud of your genuine loving fan club are an absolute support of you your happiness all your endeavors as am i thank you so much for checking out this reading hope i was able to give you some useful guidance useful messages thumbs up like this reading if the messages resonate with you comment share subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already so we can go back and look into your love life cancers our love lives for the month of april 2019 sending you all so much love and so much light today and always again thumbs up Thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can book a reading with me right now directly through the description box below or again on my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. Loving you all today and every day. Loving you always. All right. Mwah. Bye, Cancers. See you soon. The very best of luck this ending portion of March 2019. See you again.